Hey, if you like living up in these hills surrounded by all these trees and love taking nature walks on these trails, well, this house is just for you. Welcome to our Living in Southern California channel. My name is Anna and today we are in West Whittier in the Hadley Hills neighborhood. Today we are showcasing a beautiful remodeled home that is a four bedroom, three bath home. The living space is 2,000 square feet. The lot size is 9,700 square feet. Let's go check it out. Okay folks, take a look at this beautifully remodeled kitchen. I love that it's uh, open space. I love the concept. I'm sure there was a wall there in between that kitchen and the uh, dining room, which is here to the right. Then you have a den, which we'll check out in a bit. The whole thing about the open space concept, even for a small house, I'm sure you'll agree with me. If the walls are removed and you convert it to an open space area, I mean, it just makes it feel much larger. I'm sure you'll agree to that. So let's take a look at this kitchen. So here we have a peninsula. And I love the detail there, the wood detail underneath that peninsula. I love the overlay of the quartz countertop. Now this is a waterfall countertop. The reason they call that a waterfall is that that part there of the quartz is coming all the way down. Let me give you a better angle of this. So there you go, take a look at that. So that's a waterfall quartz countertop. It's pretty wide, I'm gonna say this one's about four feet wide. Plenty of space, you have a breakfast nook area on the other side. Now, the appliances here are black with, with uh, stainless steel. And I love that vent hood up there. Never seen it in black, but it blends in really well. Now the cabinets here are custom European laminate uh, cabinets. I love the style. Let's take a look at this backsplash. We have a, uh, some custom backsplash here. Not sure if you can distinguish that through the camera, but the tiles are different. Has a farm sink. I love that. Nice and big and deep. I like that gooseneck faucet, which picks up the black of the vent hood and the stove. Lots of countertop. Let me turn here to the left. You have your stainless steel refrigerator. More countertop space here. This kitchen is big, it's a good size. It's a great place to hang out. I love these cabinets. So these are these European cabinets and they're self-closing, as you can see there. You have some uh, recessed lighting up above. And I believe there's a corner cabinet here. Let's take a look, which is a Lazy Susan. Yep, there you go. Plenty of space in there for your canned goods. Just love that. Cabinets are nice and deep. Very well done. And let me show you a small bonus in this kitchen. So this kitchen has laminate floors. As you can see, they're throughout the entire house. And then you have a small, I would say prep. Let's say you're having a party and you need some countertop space. You have a prep area. In older homes here in Whittier, we call it like a butler kitchen, but I don't see a sink here. But take a look at this. I mean, you have some upper cabinets, bottom cabinets. You have some quartz countertops there. Great place to prep for a party. The mess is out of the way, right? And you're just out here entertaining. Let me zoom out. Again, take a look at this kitchen. It's very wide. I'm going to say this whole kitchen space is at least, I'm going to say at least 15 by 16. Great size. So there you have it. There is the kitchen. Okay, folks, so right in front of the kitchen to the right is the dining room area. It's a good space. I'm going to say this here is about 8 by 10 feet. It currently has a table. This table here holds six. But I honestly think you have, you can add a larger table because look at all the space here to the right. So you can 
definitely have a larger, longer table. Uh, it's a good area, good space. Has also recessed lighting. I like that light fixture up there. Laminate floors. And the best part is it's open to the kitchen. There you go. If this is your first time to our channel, make sure to subscribe and click that little bell so that you are notified every single time we do a brand new video. That's right, y no se les olvide que también hablamos español. So pick up that phone, give us a phone call, send us a text message, an email, or even a vote. <laughs> I hope this kitchen doesn't catch on fire. We got your back when moving to Winter, California. So let me take you into the den. So the den is right behind the dining room area. And here it is. Now this den here, man, I really consider this a bonus. It's a good size. It's about 13 by 13 feet. Has the laminate floors going throughout. It's been freshly painted. I like the light fixtures and the exposed beams. It just gives it that touch. They're painted brown. It has a sliding door, glass door, again, double pane that lead out to the backyard patio. I mean, this is a great place to just hang out. Nice and clean, huge base moldings. And there you have it. This is the den. So now let's check out the living room, but I wanted to show you more or less the placement or location of it because there's a kitchen, here's the dining room, and to the left of it is the living room. Now this living room here is about uh, 13 by 13 uh, feet. It's a good size. I love the focal point. So the entry, the entry door is right at the back there, right? And you can walk either left or right around that fireplace. It's a gas fireplace, great focal point of the house. Has some custom tile work there. This room has a lot of natural light. As you can see at the entry of the house, there's those fixed windows on both sides. Take a look. Let me pan around here and show you the living room. So you have those sliding doors there that lead to the back patio or it's a patio and the backyard. You have laminate floors throughout the entire house. You have recessed lights up above. This whole place has been freshly painted. And it's a great size. I mean, it's a good place to hang out, to entertain. Again, I love that fireplace there. It just makes the space, right? And the sliding doors there, the sliding glass doors. All the windows here are double pane windows. Uh, throughout, they've done a really great job. I love that. The base moldings are large, they're probably about uh, six and a quarter inch. Done very well. So there you go. That's the living room. Here's a primary bedroom. Now this bedroom here I'm gonna say is about uh, 13 by 12 feet. It has a lot of natural light coming in through those double pane windows. Let me turn around here to give you a better view of it. It has the uh, laminate floors also, and it has that large closet. It's a long closet. Not sure, what do you think? I mean, would you install doors or leave it, leave it open? I mean, you'll be able to see all your clothes, but once again, it's your bedroom, right? So, not sure, what do you think? Would you install some doors there? It's been freshly painted, has recessed lights. And here at the entrance, so that's the entrance there to the primary, and that's where your sinks are at, that's your vanity. So I love that you have a double sink vanity with quartz countertops, take a look at that, nice backsplash. I like this color of vanity. It's suspended in the air, as you can see there, and that thing underneath, it's almost magical, right? <laughs> but I love that it's a his and hers double sink. And if I pan out to the left here, is going to be your shower. So let me take.